So welcome to the first week of season, not season, episode Revenant, I think it is. So yeah, pretty excited. We got some cool armor, looking some cool looking armor. We're going to be talking about these seasonal challenges plus Eververse and 801, not in that order, but that's what we're going to be doing right now. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, and sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help. Um, yeah, we're going to be looking at all of that stuff and then at the end of the video we're going to be talking about some of the plans that we have for the future uh, specifically for revenant so stay tuned for those of you who are actually interested in the content because we're going to be talking about a few things um so yeah let me know what you guys think other than that missions of mercy one complete part one of act one elixir rescue literally just do the story um actually the story should be going up probably after this and then the eververse video will be coming out later um probably the day after this one is out um, just to give you a heads up handle with care craft volatile tonics in idos tonic laboratory so yeah this one's not hard it's just uh make tonics my only gripe is i wish you could make tonics faster because there is a whole thing that you have to go through you have to like pick which tonic you want go get your ingredients it's all within the same area but go get the ingredients from another area and then go put the actual tonic in the actual like machine thing and then taste it that which you cannot uh skip the animation and then you get the tonic i wish you could streamline that a little bit like the first few times cool it's it's a cool animation but after a while i would like to just get the tonic and without all that rigmarole so i would like a like animation thing and then a non-animation thing where it's just give me all of these um herbalist collect uh regents used to make tonics in idos tonic laboratory i'm gonna say it's regents like what how else how else how else would you say that um this one's not hard it's gonna be your typical like actually i don't know i don't know how you collect re regents in this game so or in this not season but episode so um we'll probably take a look at it i don't i don't imagine it to be super hard the Def defensive technician repair the adu by depositing scrap in onslaught salvation so yeah the activity for revenant is uh onslaught which i'm, I'm I, I don't hate it um i really hope there's other stuff aside from onslaught because onslaught as much as i do like onslaught i can definitely see myself getting super burnt out from it so i'm hoping that it's not just onslaught and it's something else because then that would give us a little bit more variety and i can actually do other things aside from just onslaught um onslaught banes defeat bane empowered combatants in onslaught i feel like i've done this before but i guess i haven't uh complete pathfinder paths this season and collect their pinnacle rewards hopefully this isn't a, this isn't as bugged as it was for um echoes because i'm pretty sure it was bugged but yeah this is not hard at all defeat guardians with arc damage in the crucible this is gonna annoy some people for sure but it's not hard i mean to be fair we'll look at what is actually up for all of the things but yeah not too hard i mean to be fair like all of these are pretty much almost done this one shouldn't be hard unless it's bugged again this one's gonna be annoying for people and this one i honestly don't even know about this one so yeah i'm actually pretty excited the only, the only thing that i find really annoying is the fact that seasonal challenges jumped up to 101 which before it was like 45 if i remember correctly or 75 it was um so that's kind of rough it's it's really rough actually because like 75 is like a lot already and just to add even more to that like what is it 20 21 is kind 21 no 26 so adding 26 more doesn't seem like a lot but 101 challenges just seems like too much in my opinion um so yeah let's go to 801 801 she's gonna be selling golden empire this is from season of menagerie this is an old one. Oh, this is also the look that i have currently um well, yeah we'll look at it after 801 i guess uh cairo's black And then we have New Monarchy Diamonds, which I love this shader. This is like one of my favorite shaders. And then for the armor set, it's going to be this one right here. I am not the biggest fan of this armor, specifically uh, for pretty much everyone. Let me just double check because, you know, I can think of an armor set, but I, I don't want to mix and match armor sets. Icarus, so yeah, the, for the Hunters, for the Titans, it's going to be the Terra. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so Hunters, 
the white on the actual visor for the helmet does not change color there's a lot of pieces in this in this armor set that does not change color specifically for the helmet the cloak and i think the boots and some piece of the chest piece if i remember correctly i think the arms are pretty much all is fine but i know for sure the helmet the boots and the cloak have pieces that do not change color uh titans there are pieces that don't change color for you as well i think it's specifically only on the red blocks so pretty much almost anything everything but the mark um the helmet is really cool because i've done a xenomorph look with that helmet for uh halloween last year so if you guys want to check that out definitely check out that video hopefully i'll have it up right now if i remember but yeah i'm not the biggest fan of this armor just because the armor looks kind of weird and it shaders really terribly and then warlocks uh it's not the fact that your armor it shaders terribly it's just it's kind of trash looking i'm gonna be honest it's kind of like a reskin of a set that we already have in game so that's why i really have no like want for this armor because again it's just a reshader or a reskin of another set or actually another two sets that we have in game so let me know what you guys think about this as for the fit for the video it's one of my older ones using the pressure stabilizer for the uh, girl falcons halberd um yeah it's it's specifically like my underwater vibe one and yeah i decided to use the shade stalker strides because i feel i felt like oh this is gonna be super cool that knife at the bottom is gonna be super cool um and then like this wire here so immediately i was like this is probably gonna look cool and yeah it really does look cool the reason i'm using royal protector is because there's a purple visor or the visor is purple here it does not change color i can actually probably yeah there it is so yeah this doesn't change color which is why i just decided to use uh this one instead so that way i can just ignore that and i also do, do think it looks really cool helmet omni oculus max so that way i can take the hood off of the calamity rig cloak just so that way i can have this like almost like the armor is like part of the chest piece which is why i th think it's really cool unfortunately calamity ray cloak is the best one we have for this even though it has these weird like spider things not spider uh snake things um the other the crucible vanguard um they don't look really good with this so that's why calamity rig is going to be the best one you can get npa weir walker grips for the arms specifically because it goes well with that underwater vibe specifically because the npa was literally in an underwater season so yeah it's going to be the best one for that so let me know what you guys think about this um let's talk about this real quick so let me go to crucible before i forget so we're going to be looking at supremacy that's not bad um yeah i guess it, yeah um i would do control personally that being said supremacy would probably be the better one just because supremacy you have to collect the, cr the crests to actually gain points so you could I, I don't want to mention this because some people might do it but people are going to do it regardless what you could do is just go into supremacy and kill and never pick up a crest so that way you have more time in the game so that way you can get more kills with arc you could do that or you can go to control and just kind of turn your brain off i'm gonna be honest with you i have really not been in the mood to play uh crucible at all i'm not the biggest fan of the changes that came to the special weapons i am a i'm a believer that special weapons should be lethal and i should be able to pick them up like like how we used to i know some people are gonna be like oh but the gunplay honestly dog i i view i view destiny 2's uh pvp more of a arena shooter like call of duty more than like anything else and for me call of duty is really big on special weapons and being able to take enemies down real fast so that's why i'm not the biggest fan of the changes not saying i'm right or wrong i'm just saying for me personally i don't really feel the pvp for this one not it's not oh you can't aim not really i'm pretty decent it's just again i find it kind of boring when it's just people peeking over and over and over and no one dying because people just keep peeking and then oh i'm almost dead let me just yeah it's just to me boring and you have a lot less hero moments because you can you can't just go and shotgun 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 because oh they're already used twice that's for another video i'm probably gonna talk about that in depth because again um i do think i think uh like gunplay specific modes and like the og way i think both of them can, can survive and thrive in each of their own playlist which is why i want to make a video on it because i do think it's important because i honestly don't really care for Cru crucible this crazy because i used to defend crucible a lot and now i'm just kind of like indifferent about it which is pretty terrible uh gambit there's nothing new here aside from a map that we got last season uh 
and nothing you hear aside from wow look at this bitch face right here no i'm happy i'm happy he's here that's so cool uh was he here no he wasn't here last season for sure this is cool though i fuck with this heavily dude oh my god two guardians and a human <laughs> or an aw awoken i should say <laughs> um what are we doing oh yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to uh wait are we doing this already um yeah we looked at 801 we looked at challenge yeah so we're gonna be reviewing this armor uh soon i'm probably gonna buy this literally after this video is done but let's look at the stuff atlantic rush we have the twisting strands which is the uh, strand shader which is pretty funny i was gonna buy it last season but i was like ah fuck it i'll just wait for it to go to eververse um we have do-it-yourself forge master oh and then Myth Myth Mystios Grips. So this is the Assassin's Creed Arms. And let me just quickly show you the Titans and Warlocks because I, mm, let me tell you, man, Titans, y'all ain't good that season for sure, for sure. Um, Let me see. So we'll go Titans first because we already saw the Hunters. Um, Donde esta la biblioteca? Dude, this armor, I'm excited for this armor for sure, for sure. I'm super excited to like actually talk about it, but we'll talk about it at the season pass video, um, which will be right after the, uh, it will be right after the, um, the Eververse set. So Wolf Kiss Gauntlets, this is the other Assassin's Creed arms, the fur, which is super dope. Um, I like this one a lot. Very Viking themed. So if you're not into Vikings, then I mean, the tough titties dog, because this is literally Viking themed. And then for the Warlocks, um, I don't agree with it, kind of. But I mean, you guys will got what you got. So let's look at it real quick. Um, where are you? Man, I really wish there was like a search feature in this game for like stuff like this. So yeah, it's this. I mean, it's cool. You just, it has very low, like usability for me because it's like it's very specific and it's leather based so like i know some people are gonna be like that doesn't matter for me it kind of matters because it di dictates the chess piece for me but i mean it's still decent um and i definitely think you should pick up all of the assassin's creed armor because it is really really good but yeah as per usual or usual now because it's something that i started doing last season for the last armor set that got introduced which was the mecha mechano or mega mechano set uh we're gonna be making a video with the arms so that way you guys are aware of what you can do with each of the piece that going forward they're going to be dropping um i'm really tempted to buy this for the hunters it looks really cool but yeah we're going to be doing some videos for this hopefully fucking fingers crossed this time that i can do pump it out by friday but we do have a storm coming on thursday so if i don't post a video by monday then just assume that i lost internet uh, for the stuff at the bottom, we have Vast Expanse for the Microcosm. Like, I wish I liked this gun enough to use it. I have it. Uh, Astrocon. This looks kind of goofy, dog. We have Colonel's Lament, which definitely looks super like, almost like, like a Japanese uh, video game thing. Not Japanese. It looks like... I don't want to say I don't want to say like um oh my god I'm blanking on their name from software I'm, I want to say it's from software but not from software what the fuck am I talking about oh my god uh Square Enix there we go like I want to say it's kind of like Square Enix vibes but yeah I fuck with it heavily it looks super cool uh IX shell I know it's this right here um i don't know what the, whatever it's this i think it's cool um would i buy it hell no definitely not uh, especially not for two almost three thousand brightas get the fuck out of here pumped up dance and then guard gardening guardian so for the transmax we have transmat effects we have dreaming shimmer we have cannon fodder and then Crystalis Entrance, which I like this one. This is pretty cool. For the shaders, we have Lion's Pride. This is an old one. This is from Season of the Lost, bro. This is old, very, very old. This is the season before uh, Witch Queen, bro. This is old. Um, Copper Brand, at least I think it's the season before. 
I could be wrong about that. No, I don't think I am. Copper brand, which looks pretty decent with this. Neopop Wave. And then Chid and Slate, which man, I used to I used to really ride Chid and Slate's dick hard, bro. But unfortunately they they busted this shader. It doesn't turn off glows anymore. So it's kind of trash. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I that is pretty much it for the video. If you guys want to leave, by all means, uh, I appreciate y'all just coming up to this point, honestly. But yeah, we're gonna be talking about a few things. We're not gonna be looking at all of this, but we're gonna be talking about things. So first and foremost, this video should be the first video that's coming up uh, on the channel for Revenant. After that, we're gonna be doing the story. I'm gonna I'm hoping I can push the story out because I want to just have the story. Um, more like an archive for myself more than anything else so if you don't watch it i'm not blaming you for it i mean to be fair it's just a story and there's some other content creators that you probably watch like for me personally i would much rather watch like esoteric because dude the dude's a um like the dude's an immortal like he's crazy but uh yeah the story is probably going to be coming out um then we're going to be reviewing the eververse uh store so specifically if this is your first time checking out my channel we're going to be reviewing all of the stuff here um, not only for the hunters but for the titans and warlocks as well so first first uh this looks cool dude light speed oh this looks so okay sorry um so yeah we're gonna be looking at all of this for the hunters and then we'll go to the titans and then the warlocks because this 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 armor is gonna be talked about and some of the ornaments that we got dog oh best believe i'm gonna be busting in that video um it's also not that long compared to like other seasons because it's just like what five ornaments plus wow this one looks cool sorry um so yeah we're gonna be looking at this uh what else what else uh oh season pass obviously we're gonna be talking about the season pass um specifically of what you can get and stuff like that and then i'm hopefully gonna make a video on the season pass after a level level 100 because I do think it's important to talk about it because I do think it's uh, not the best in my opinion. I mean, there's some cool things, specifically synth wave, uh, synth weave templates. It's really cool to see here. Um, some more deep start harmonizer, super cool. Bright dust is always welcomed, um, but it's just, I feel like we could have had a little bit more. Specifically, I another shader is super dope as well, but to be fair, we also had two shaders in the beginning of, oh, it's for the actual armor. That's actually dope. Um, I, I mentioned this in a, in a previous video, but these are the these are the weapons for this season. So I would have much preferred if for the level 200 stuff, we actually got more than what we got specifically just like a skin for this, these weapons. Like uh, this is supposed to be um, the not hive. What, what am I trying to say? Scorn. This is supposed to be like scorn themed. I would have preferred if the one of the skins was um, not scorn, but splicer themed because the armor that we get for the seasonal um, activity is technically splicer themed, if I'm being honest. Like, I can actually show you real quick. So yeah, like this is definitely screaming more splicer than anything else, more like, actually the whole set screams more like, like a pirate splicer more than anything else, which is really cool. Specifically the fucking hat, which is super dope. Um, I'm using a helmet that, hold on, <laughs> I'm using a helmet that takes the cloak off, so, or the hood off, so that actually makes sense. Um, so yeah, I would have preferred if we had gotten like a skin that was more style of this, because then it just adds more value to the season pass aside from just like material, because like to be fair, like some people are going to be like, no, I prefer the material, which is fair, but I would have preferred like skins for our weapons. That would have just been a little bit better. Um, after that, we're probably going to be looking at all of the armor. So yeah, there's a lot of armor in this video or in this, uh, I'm just going to call it season, bro. That's what this, this would, that's what it feels like. So yeah, the iron intent, I don't know if that's what it's called for everyone, but yeah, it is called that for everyone. Okay. So the iron intent stuff for all the classes is definitely going to be something we're going to be doing that. I'm really excited for that. Um, I did a, hold on it is seasons so yeah then after that we're going to be looking at the shade stalker the dungeon armor which is not showcased here so we are getting a dungeon and that is going to get an armor hopefully i mean i mean say i say hopefully but we've been getting an armor consistently from a dungeon so we should be getting that if my well my clan's dead but 
my, if my new clan starts running raids, I'm going to be doing this for this season, even though it was supposed to be for last season, but again, my clan died last season. Um, and then for the universal ornaments, obviously we're going to be going through a few things specifically. We're going to be doing, um, the avian hunter stuff for all the classes. That's probably going to be the first one we're going to be looking at, honestly. And then from there, we're going to be looking at the Assassin's Creed armor um, each week. And then after that, we'll make a full blown video of it. And yeah, same thing for this helmet. This is a seasonal uh, or universal ornament, universal helmet ornament that we're getting for level 200. So this is not going to be immediately accessible to everyone. This is going to be after season three is out. And then after like a while, because I'm not going to be leveling up that thing that crazy. So definitely going to make a video on this because it looks fucking cool. Hopefully the fire changes color, but we're going to be doing this armor, which is a seasonal ornament. I was not, I was surprised that that was the actual season ornament. So yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that we're going to be doing for this channel. Not only that, I'm most likely going to be getting back into shadering. That's something that I've been neglecting because I didn't do it for last season. So I'm going to do it for this season, hopefully. And that's going to have a totally different uh, way of doing this looks fucking cool. Wow. It's going to be I'm going to be doing different uh, formats for the shadering this time around just because I don't like how I'm doing it currently. So I'm just going to change it up a little bit and make the graphic a little bit better. But yeah, we're going to be doing that. Um, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff, to be quite honest. A lot of the shadering which I'm really excited for. Maybe some weapon reviews. I've been thinking about doing weapon reviews again because I kind of miss it. And I honestly think my take on weapon reviews are, is kind of stupid because it's literally just, if I don't see a perk I like, I fucking forget the weapon exists, which is very valid for myself. Um, so yeah, if like, if Liturgy or Vintage Point or Bitter slash Sweet doesn't have anything decent or like something that wows me, I will legit legitimately forget it exists. And overall, yeah, just have a, I've, still want to play this game i still love this game i just sometimes it's hard to keep the faith but i do think this uh, season is going to be really good for us as a community because it does look pretty decent i mean honestly just off the bat i really like that the we're not in the helm we're in the the, the elixni quarter i guess you would say um i do hope they start adding more stuff to to not only oh wait here it is Onslaught Salvation, Onslaught Playlist. What does that, what does that mean? I'm confused. Oh, you can choose? Oh, that's cool. Okay, that actually, that's kind of bitching, bro. Widow's Court. We're going to do that right now after. So, yeah, that's actually pretty decent. Um, I hope they add more activities just because Onslaught is much fun. It is, like I said, I'm going to burn myself out from that. Um, and I should probably also mention that you can do all of the story content right now I th if i remember correctly all the story content is out so you can just burn through that if you want i'm personally probably going to just chill out a bit and just take my time with it because i don't really care to finish it all in one go so i do apologize this is a longer video but i did want to explain my thoughts going forward um just so that way you guys are aware that i'm not going anywhere i'm not going to be decreasing the amount of content that i po post out as if we ever when we ever get an armor set um, in the game, I will always review it the way I've always done it just because I really like that. I did say in a previous video that I was thinking about uh, making the editing a little bit less intensive. And what I mean by that is having like the two, the two gendered guardians, um, like the male and female, like hunters, and then the titans, and then the male, and then the female, and then the warlocks. I'm still debating whether I want to do that or not just because I do like that format a little bit better or i could just do what i was thinking about doing and just doing the review from the actual end game like this um it is a little bit more not corny but like homebrew i guess i don't know it's 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 more like how i used to run my content but that also means we can look at it, the individual pieces and actually 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 show you like what I'm talking about. Like, oh, I like the line here or the eyeballs actually pop out when you're using a specific chess piece. Like that's why I like the pros and cons of it. So definitely let me know your opinion about it. Would you guys prefer the other way where it's just sleek and to the point, like showing you my guardians uh, rotating? Or would you prefer this where I, actually, I can actually go in depth, like, oh, show you all of it, like all oh, the arms are here and then all of this stuff that would be pretty cool just because it, it makes it a lot easier because then i can just be like oh yeah here's how it looks on certain shaders i could show you a lot more shaders 
The only thing I don't like is the fact, again, like the other style, the style that I've done now is a lot cleaner in my eye. But at the same time, I do think because it's so clean, some people might get bored of it. So I would love your input on that. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys want to follow me again, hit the like button, follow, subscribe, all that shit, because it does help a lot. Other than that, be safe. I'll see you guys later.